Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to take a look at duplicate contacts in CRM. Uh, if you have massive amount of contacts in your database, uh, there's going to be a good likelihood that there's, there are dupl duplicates there. So you have to have some kind of way to figure out what is a duplicate, what is not a duplicate. And uh, Business Central does have a feature which helps you look for those. And we're going to take a quick look at that. Okay, let's take a look at this small feature uh, in the contact management or CRM inside Business Central. Uh, we're basically talking about duplicates. So if I go into contacts, and this is a big problem because if you have a lot of people entering in contacts, you're going to get duplicates. And like, for example, here I have my name like four times, which is not good. Um, so, and test customer is here, worldwide bank is twice. And so this, this list is already, even though I only got a few records in it, is getting messy. Um, so let's take a look at the duplicates. If I go into duplicates, um, I can take a look at here, uh, duplicate contacts. And the system is only telling me that I have one duplicate contact. And that would be kind of weird because uh, I, I just, looked at the list and I have lots of duplicates. So why is it only telling me that I have one? Well, if I take a look at this particular record, it looks like the name, address, city, postcode, email, it's all the same. So there's at least five fields here that are the same. Uh, okay, so this is clearly a duplicate in on many levels, like <laughs> it's all filled out. Uh, the other one probably only had like the name the same or something like that. So. Let's figure out how it qualifies the duplicate. If I go into the setup, uh, which is uh, marketing setup, marketing setup is the setup for the CRM inside Business Central. And I go into duplicates right here. Uh, it, it auto searches for duplicates um, and it has a search hit percentage um, of 60%. So 60% has to be correct. And if I look at the uh, setup up here, I can see the duplicate search string. And so this is how you set up what it's looking for when it's identifying a duplicate. And so it does want to see the first part of the name, first five letters have to be the same, and the last part of the name, first uh, last five letters. And it does the same thing for all of the fields here uh, that you specify. You can basically go ahead and add fields in here that you want to be compared. And you can make this a little less, like I, if I just kept the name here and I increased the length, I would have probably picked up everything. Um, but you set this up and it maintains, in this case, 60%. Um, if there's a 60% match, they're gonna say, well, that's probably a duplicate. And, and it'll list it in that screen and then you can either identify it as being separate or delete the duplicate. So it's fairly simple how it works. It's effective uh, and it's a good way to catch you know, the duplicates.